Dr. Lance and Christy, join us as we build our dream. Welcome to Knight's Helm Farms. So we're trying to get it moved around to the front side so we can go in this first bay. We've been we've been working on another project, but now we need to finish this one because it's going to help us finish our other project because we need water out here. <laughs> want to finish this up so we can put water in it. We need water out here for something. For something. And then we have the idea to bring one of these like car jumper starter things out here. Car jumper starter thing. Let's see. We can see it back there. And hopefully, nope, that's not gonna do it. We were hoping we could run our fan on it. First thing we have to do is put the tongue on. Now, question for you. Is this going to cause a problem with the thing that's coming through here? This bump, probably. The bump should probably should be the other way around. You know what I'm saying? I think you've actually, there's not so much wiggle. Okay. Wiggle? Yeah. Swiggle? Like you uh, saw that thing before, there's not much there. It's just a flat. Yeah, it's just a flat triangle thing. Yeah. So we're putting. <laughs> we've, I've already told you this. Part of this is know-how, and part of it is ingenuity. <laughs> like we're we're just making it up as we go. Uh -huh. um, we're using gate hinges to make the plates. On that so that we can then put the tongue of the zero turn in here it has a hole in it and we'll drop this pin down through all three pieces and have made a hitch hopefully that works we're gonna we're gonna find out if that works and then I I uh, laid the extra bolts and lock washers up there for the wheels we'll have to try it out and then if you think we need new wheel or bigger wheels after we try it out, um, we won't cut those thread that threaded rod until after we've got the actual wheel wheel on there. Right. 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 Yeah, I'm about to turn that big fan on and put this camera on super speed because now I'm hot. Uh huh. I wasn't I wasn't that hot earlier, but it finally caught up with me. attach the hose directly to uh, our water input and that way hopefully we don't lose any water and um, we don't have like a backflow coming at us uh, except uh, we did create one spot in there for the backflow just in case well there is an it's issue. an air gap it's an air gap yeah. yeah so this let me pull this out of here so there's the cap to our tank 
we are going to attach this guy to it, screw it in. Uh, we're not going to screw it in there permanently just to be on the safe side because depending on how far you have to twist this in, um, you know, this whole thing might be at a different angle. Wrong way. So we put that one in to here. We get a connector right here. Here's a, uh, a T that we got. And then we added this to the top of the T and that's gonna be our air gap. Then we added another section similar to the other side to the other end of the T. And this is where the hose will attach. So, I mean, there's the possibility if we turn the hose on too fast, too hard, it could start coming out here, but we need an air gap somehow. So any way you go, that might happen. But this right here then will screw into the top of our barrel right here. And that's what it'll look like right there. Attach the hose here, fill up the barrel whenever we need to. Then down here, we're basically going to have a similar situation. We're gonna have this attached to it right here. With this attached okay. there. And then, oh, right there. And then this last piece right here is gonna attach to this. And that's where we have the uh, output and we'll have a hose attached to that so we can run the water wherever we need to. So. We're going to get it all set up right now. Hopefully it should all work. We'll see how it goes. All right, so we have the metal valve on the bottom here. Connected to a 25 foot hose with a sprayer attachment. And we have all of this assembled. I put a screen and I just buy those um, those cheap like kitchen sink drainer you know kitchen sink drain screen screen I guess is what it is and cut a chunk and then put on a zip tie and that's going to keep the mosquitoes from going in and out of there uh, that's what we did on our big rain barrel up there too is obviously use a larger piece of screen but that worked and then we need a coupler here for when we fill it we just realized we need a coupler because it's going to be mail to mail so um he's putting the wheels on so that they don't fall off this hardware cloth we're going to put a piece of hardware cloth right here in the bottom of that and another one there and that way we can lay this the hose up there other things you know it's not going to fall through and we have the hitch on however it's not on very good because the nuts, for some reason, the nuts, we got the nuts with the nylon um, stopper thing in there. I don't know what you call it, but they didn't, they stripped out. They didn't work for some Close. reason. It was weird. Yeah. A little bit. So anyway, we're going to use it like this, but we'll, you know, basically we just have to change the nuts on, on those. Probably the bolts too, you might have to cut them off, huh? Because you couldn't get them on or off. Right, no. It is very weird. But the fan feels good. Should go get the doggies. Yeah. Bring them in here now. Yeah. They still got two bars. That's so much better than being out here with nothing. Yes. Yep. It's still hot, but that it's bearable with it's that. It's bearable with that, yeah. Let me put my gloves on. I hate to touch that stuff without gloves. It's pokey.
test out the wheels before we cut the axles. So I gotta go get the mower. Yep. But I can put this here. See, look. Look at that. That's awesome. And then here's your bucket. Bucket of boat trash. Alright. So. My other difference in opinion on this is that I would say just sharpen the axle at the corners and make this thing look like a chariot from the Roman time period, Greek time period. No, it needs to be narrow. Yeah, but that would be awesome. No, it wouldn't. It would get your shin every time you walk by it. If you're, if you're and, out there, you're mowing. And you'd mowing, say, oh, it was such an awesome idea. a big old pack of wolves all of a sudden shows yeah. up, you can go to war with this thing. Yeah. <laughs> My water cart. I just no. need to put like a uh, go battle the wolves with my water maybe a, cart. a catapult or a ballista on here also. Great. Yeah, you're crazy. Yeah. Making work for yourself. Yeah. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna go get the mower, and we can. Uh, my camera is just really not having a good time with the light. There we go. Um. Go get the mower and we can fill it up and bring it back. Bring it back and then that'll tell us whether the wheels are big enough. That'll tell us if the hitch is going to work. That'll tell us if this concoction that we have happening on here is going to work. I like it. Well, that little contraption right there won't work yet because we need a coupler. But again, like we said, when we got a lot of this stuff, we didn't want to go all the way into town because that's about 5,800 miles from here. <laughs> we just went to our local places and... They have a they pretty were, small selection. They were a small selection. They were tapped out of certain important pieces and we just had to keep doing stuff. A lot of people we've seen that have done this, they just had a big old L and a big tube right here just to pour the water in. And uh, we didn't have that option. So we were trying to figure out, like, hey, why not? Minus the air gap, we had to make sure we put some kind of air gap in there. Why not just have the toes attached to a connector piece? And we got most of that, except, yeah, the coupler. They didn't have a coupler. Well, so and we're going to want something that we can turn off, too, so that the bugs don't just go in right there, too. True. So, yeah. anyway. Yeah, on off but, coupler. Yeah. Yeah. It's coupler on, coupler off. Whatever, yeah. yeah. So let's go, I'll go get the mower. Go get the mower. Da, 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 da. All right. I guess I gotta go this way open the door. Other way a testament would have been with a hill, but we don't have any of those here. Eject. <laughs> no, it's a jet. Oh, jet. 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 All right. So it's mostly finished. Uh, we're fairly happy with it. It is a little low to the ground, so eventually, I mean, we've already bought this stuff. We might might as well use it for as long as we can. But uh, later on, to improve the build, we will want to get bigger tires, so it's a little bit higher up off the ground. What we'll probably do is uh, cut a 45 off the back of those 4x4s, four um, just to give it some more uh, clearance. Over here, um, like we mentioned earlier, 
Uh, for some reason, our nuts stripped when we were trying to put them on the screws. So it works, it's still functional. It's just a little rattly. So I don't think we really need to worry about that right now. Another thing we can do down the road whenever we go someplace. Uh, the barrel itself, everything seems to be pretty good. We've got the uh, hose on here, got a nozzle there. If we spin it, we have a, actually have a spray nozzle right here too. <laughs> <laughs> we put just that kidding. on there just to keep mosquitoes out. Yeah, yeah, we just put that on there to keep the, keep the bugs out and that kind of stuff. But what we haven't tried yet to see what kind of pressure we have. So I have it on jet on here. Go ahead and turn this guy on. Well, I'm not expecting a jet. I'm expecting a... A trickle? A, a, yeah. A cold trickle? How about nothing? How about nothing? Well, the barrel's only half full, first of all. You have that open. Move your hose to the ground instead of having it up even with it. Yeah. Yeah, that's odd that there isn't anything. There it comes. So we would so need... So we've got more work to do. <laughs> yeah, we do have more work to do. There you go. Okay, well... Now we know. Stay tuned for the rest of the water cart build. <laughs> but I mean, as it is right now, we can use it to get water from point A to point B. Yeah, we just can't get it out. Yeah, we can. <laughs> we can we're going to use it for what we finished it for. Shorter hose? Yeah, shorter hose. Use a shorter hose. <sighs> yep. Yep. All right. There we go. Yeah, I can see this is going to be a problem. Yeah. Yep. We're going to be running over the garden hose because Lance doesn't want to put it on there, right? <laughs> it's on there. It's messy. <laughs> All right.